Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurates newly constructed Bangladesh House in Maryland, USA. Prime Minister returns home tomorrow after attending 76th session of UNGA. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid urges global youth to take lessons from the work and ideals of Bongo Bundu and use them for welfare of the people of the respective countries. Elections to be held on time following the constitution, whether BNP participates or not, says Obaidul Qadir. Countrywide mobile course to be conducted from tomorrow to enforce Clean Feed and Cable Operators Act, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Prison clashes leave 117 killed in Ecuador, more than 80 people injured. South Football Championship set to kick off in Maldives tomorrow. Bangladesh to face Sri Lanka in the opening match. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shamim Khan welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World, and BTV Chartogram Center. Those were the headlines. We now move on to the news and details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated the newly constructed Bangladesh House at Maryland in the USA. She opened the house at 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday local time, said a press release signed by Prime Minister's Press Secretary Ihsan Karim. The Prime Minister also took part in a prayer after the inaugural ceremony. Among others, Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin, Foreign Secretary Masood bin Momin and Bangladesh Ambassador to the USA M. Shahidul Islam were present. She earlier planted a sapling of French tree at the house. Earlier, the Prime Minister reached New York on September 19 to attend the 76th UNJ after a two-day stopover in Helsinki, the capital of Finland. During her stay in New York from September 19 to 24, the Prime Minister attended 76th United Nations General Assembly UNGA at the UN headquarters and high-voltage side events. During her stay in New York, Sheikh Hasina addressed the general debate of 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. She delivered a speech in Bangla on September 24, following the footsteps of Father of the Nation, Bongabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. From September 19 to 24, Sheikh Hasina attended several high-level and closed-door meetings as well as bilateral talks with heads of governments and states and organizations. The Premier later left New York for Washington, D.C. on September 25 after wrapping up her week-long official visit to New York. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid has called upon the world youth community to take lessons from the ideals and works of Bongo Bundu and devote themselves to serve the respective country and its people. He made the call while addressing the launching ceremony of Bongo Bundu Global Youth Leadership Award this afternoon. Youth and Sports Ministry, Foreign Ministry and OIC Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum jointly organized the function at Osmani Memorial Auditorium. The President virtually joined the function from Bongo Bhavan. At the outset of his speech, the President paid respect to the greatest Bengali of all times, Father of the Nation, Bongo Bundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The President said, from his childhood, Bongo Bundu was very kind but uncompromising in attaining the rights. Highlighting the progress of Bangladesh, the President said, the government led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is putting relentless efforts to materialize Bongo Bundu's dream of a golden Bengal. The President stressed on utilizing the potentials of youth force to accomplish the vision of making Bangladesh a developed nation. In his long successful political career, Bongo Bundu led all democratic and freedom movement the great leader was sent to jail several times and had to bear inhuman sufferings. Despite manifold challenges, he did never compromise with the Pakistani rulers on the question of establishing the rights of Bengalis. We achieved the ultimate victory on 
December 16, 1971, through a nine-month armed struggle under the leadership of Bangabandhu. As we are celebrating the birth centenary of the great man and the golden jubilee of our independence, I would honor the youth of the world to take lessons from the ideals and works of Bangabandhu and devote yourself to serve your respective country and its people just like Bangabandhu did. Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin, State Minister for Youth and Sports Mohammad Zahid Asan Russell, Secretary of the Youth and Sports Ministry Mohammad Akhtar Hassan, and President of Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum Taha Ayhan spoke on the occasion. A delegation of judges led by Chief Justice Sayyid Mahmood Hussain submitted the annual report 2020 of Bangladesh Supreme Court to President Muhammad Abdul Hamid at Bongo Bhavan this evening. Later, President's Deputy Press Secretary Munshi Jalaluddin briefed that during the meeting, the Chief Justice apprised the President of various aspects of the report and overall activities of Bangladesh Supreme Court. President Muhammad Abdul Hamid expressed satisfaction over the activities of Bangladesh Supreme Court and thanked them for conducting trial in a virtual manner during Corona pandemic. Secretaries to the President were present. Newly elected Member of Parliament from Kumilla 7 constituency, Dr. Pran Gopal Dotto, took oath at the Jatiya Shangshad Bhavan today. Jatiya Shangshad Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary administered the oath to Dr. Pran Gopal Dotto, elected unopposed in the bipole with the ruling Awami League's ticket. Secretary of the Parliament Secretariat K.M. Abdul Salam conducted the swearing in ceremony. Whips Iqbal Rahim, Mahabubara Begum Gini, Abu Said Al Mahmud Shapun were present at the function. After taking oath, Dr. Pran Gopal Dotto signed the oath book as part of traditional ceremony for the lawmakers. Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary has said, Guardians, school teachers, and marriage registrars have to be more responsible to resist child marriage. She said this while addressing the workshop on Adolescent Health Protection and Resistance of Child Marriage Today. The workshop was organized at Nandal in Maman Singh under SPCPD project. The speaker attended the workshop virtually from a residence in Dhaka. Anwar Abidin Khan MP chaired the workshop, which was also addressed, among others, by Secretary of the Parliament Secretariat K.M. Abdul Salam, Members of Parliament, Vice Principal Abdul Shaheed, Fakrul Imam, Aroma Dotto, Abida Anjumita, and Shamima Akhtar. The speaker said, Coronavirus pandemic created negative impact on everything around the world. It also created mental pressure on the people, especially on youths. All have to find social inventory ways to solve these problems, she added. Awami League General Secretary Obadul Qadir has said, the next general election will be held on time as per the constitution, whether BNP participates or not. He said this at a discussion organized by Awami Sheikh Chashibuk League marking 75th birthday of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at Diploma Engineers Institution Auditorium in Dhaka today. About BNP's caretaker government issue, Obadul Qadir said, once BNP said, none is neutral except children and mentally disabled persons. Now, the party demands caretaker government system. He said they will be given response for their audacious behavior with the people. Netader ke sorong puriye dikhe chaas. Bangladesh se amda jagon yopakko sarkare jono andolon kuchila. Tagon begom khaleda dia bola chile pagola sisu chala. Aar keu yopakko no. Kaule aas bhopu se. BNP Nachi Bindo, Nidobatko Sarkar, Pagolar Sisu Milie, Ekta Prostar Pathan. 
আগামী নির্বাচন আপনারা আসুন আমরা চাই কিন্তু এখন থেকে হুমকি ধামকি দিচ্ছে আপনারা প্রয়োজনে নির্বাচন করবেন না আপনারা নির্বাচন বয়কট করবেন কেন হেরে যাওয়ার ভয়ে আগেই কি হেরে যাচ্ছেন নির্বাচনে আসুন স্বাগত কিন্তু নির্বাচন করতে দেবেন না এই দম্ভক্তির জবাব বাংলা জনগণকে নিয়ে আমরা তো বিএনপি আসবে না তাই বলে নদীর স্রোত বন্ধ থাকবে না তাই বলে সময়ের গতি বন্ধ থাকবে না সময় আর স্রোত যেমন বন্ধ থাকে না নির্বাচনও বন্ধ থাকবে না বিএনপি আসুক কি না আসুক তার উপর নির্বাচন বন্ধ থাকবে না নির্বাচন যথাসময়ে সংবিধান অনুযায়ী অনুষ্ঠিত হবে স্বেচ্ছাসেবক লীগ প্রেসিডেন্ট নির্মল রঞ্জন গুহ প্রিজাইড ওভার দ্য প্রোগ্রাম আর আওয়ামী লীগ জয়েন্ট জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি এ এফ এম বাহাউদ্দিন নসিম সিনিয়র প্রেসিডেন্ট মিজমাউল আলম সাচু ল মেকার তনবীর শকিল জয় ঢাকা সাউথ সিটি স্বেচ্ছাসেবক লীগ প্রেসিডেন্ট কামরুল হাসান রিপন এন্ড জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি তারিক সঈদ স্পোক অন দি অকেশন স্বেচ্ছাসেবক লীগ জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি অফজালুর রহমান বাবু মডারেটেড দ্য ডিসকাশন earlier a photo exhibition of prime minister sheikh hasina was held drawn by the artists of the subcontinent marking the birthday of prime minister sheikh hasina information and broadcasting minister and awami league joint general secretary dr hasan mahmud said country wide mobile court operation will start from tomorrow to make effective the law related to clean feed and cable operators network He said this at the unwrapping ceremony of a book titled Unnane Ujjibone Sheikh Hasina. Compiled by Shomitra Deb at the Information and Broadcasting Ministry Conference Room in the Secretary today. I am going to do a mobile code. I am going to do a clean feed. I am going to do a cable operator. I am going to do a serial. I am going to do a serial. I am going to do a serial. ত্রিপক্ষীয় চুক্তির মাধ্যমে সমঝোতার মাধ্যমে অর্থাৎ ক্যাবল অপারেটর টেলিভিশন ওনার্স এবং মন্ত্রণালয় আমরা ত্রিপক্ষীয় বৈঠক করে টেলিভিশনের সিরিয়াল নির্ধারণ করে দিয়েছিলাম সেটি যদি কোনো জায়গায় ব্যর্থ হয় কোনো ক্যাবল অপারেটর যদি আইন ভঙ্গ করে তারা নিজেরা কোনো অ্যাড অ্যাডভার্টাইজমেন্ট প্রদর্শন করে কিংবা অনুষ্ঠান প্রদর্শন করে কিংবা আইনের অন্য কোনো ব্যর্থয় ঘটায় এবং ক্লিন ফিট যদি সেখানে দেখানো না হয় সেটি ক্যাবল অপারেটর এবং ডিস্ট্রিবিউটর যারা ডাউনলিংকের পারমিশন পেয়েছে তাদের উপরেই আইন ভঙ্গের দায় বর্তাবে এবং আইনকেও ভঙ্গ করলে আগামীকাল থেকে আইন অনুযায়ী ব্যবস্থা নেওয়া হবে Replying to a question of a journalist quoting BNP's demand of holding elections under a caretaker government, Information and Broadcasting Minister said BNP elections BNP will be held according to constitutional provisions. সংবিধান অনুযায়ী নির্বাচন অনুষ্ঠিত হবে নির্বাচনকালীন সময়ে বর্তমান সরকারই নির্বাচনকালীন সরকার হিসেবে দায়িত্ব পালন করবে যখন নির্বাচনের শিডিউল ঘোষণা করা হয় তফসিল ঘোষণা করা হয় তখন সরকারের আসলে প্রশাসনের উপর কোনো কার্যকারিতা থাকে না তখন নির্বাচন কমিশনের হাতে নির্বাচনের সাথে সংশ্লিষ্ট সমস্ত দপ্তরের দায়িত্ব বর্তায় নির্বাচনে ব্যাপারে তাদের এই বক্তব্য নতুন কোনো কিছু নয় নির্বাচন হচ্ছে রাজনৈতিক দলের জন্য দলের মধ্যে প্রাণ সঞ্চালনের একটি বড় সুযোগ এখন নিজের সিরা উপশিরাকে সুখী দিয়ে বিএনপি কে ধীরে ধীরে মৃত্যুর দিকে চলে যাবে কিনা সেটি বিএনপি সিদ্ধান্ত নিবে Dhaka University first year admission test under 2020-21 academic session will be held tomorrow at least 45 applicants will contest for one seat 
A total of 3,24,030 admission seekers have registered for 7,148 seats of four units of admission tests this year. Dhaka University Vice Chancellor Dr. Muhammad Akhtar Zaman said the tests will be held in Dhaka and seven other public universities in different divisional cities across the country. All admission test centers will be brought under strict surveillance to prevent any forgery this year, and they have already taken all preparations to hold the admission test smoothly and ensure participation of all students. The admission test will begin tomorrow with the entry test for core unit, while the test of core unit will take place on October 2nd and core unit on October the 9th. The admission test for core unit will take place on October 22nd and core unit on October 23rd. Calculators, mobile phones and any kind of mobile communication devices are prohibited in the exam hall and mobile courts would be on duty during the examinations. Planning Minister M. A. Manan has said the private sectors are being inspired to work side by side with the government in flourishing information and high technologies. He said this at a signing ceremony of nine establishments allotted by Bangladesh High Tech Park Authority in Dhaka today. Presided over by Managing Director of Bangladesh High Tech Park Authority, Dr. Bikod Nukumar Ghosh, among others, State Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Junaid Ahmad Pollock, ICT Division Senior Secretary N.M. Ziaul Alam also spoke at the function. Junaid Ahmad Pollock said, Importing of electronic goods and medical equipments are being reduced while production of these products are increased locally. Later, the signing ceremony of Bongobundu High Tech City, Kaliakur, Sheikh Hasina Software Technology Park and nine other plots at Joshua were held. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Ministry of Information and Broadcasting suggested the Ministry to take effective steps to curb rumours and fake news. The suggestion was made from the ninth meeting of the committee held at the Jatiya Shankshad Bhavan today with Committee Chairman Hassanul Haq Eno presiding. Committee members, Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood, Kazi Kiramat Ali, Simeen Hussain and Mohammad Ibadul Karim were present at the meeting. The meeting also reviewed ongoing activities of Bangladesh Film and Television Institute and National Institute of Mass Communication. The committee members suggested airing quality programs by Bangladesh Television and Bangladesh Betar on the occasion of Golden Jubilee of Countries Independence and Mujib here and taking measures to get feedback from the audience to this end. Secretary of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Mohammad Magbul Hussain, Director General of the State Run Bangladesh Television, Sohrab Hussain, Bangladesh Beta Director General Ahmed Kamru Zaman, Director General of the National Institute of Mass Communication, Shaheen Islam, and heads of various agencies of the ministry, senior officials, and concerned officials of Bangladesh Parliament Secretariat were also present. Bangladesh reported 23 COVID-19 deaths and 860 new infections today. Director General of Health Services DGHS in his routine daily statement today said the death toll has risen to 27,510 from coronavirus and the tally of infections has risen to 15,55,911. The recovery count rose to 15,15,941 after another 979 patients recovered. The statement said 3.24% of 26,569 samples tested positive. DGH statistics showed of the people infected from the beginning, 97.43% recovered and 1.77% died. The statement said of the 23 deaths, one is between 21 to 30 years, two between 31 to 40 years, five between 41 to 50 years, three between 51 to 60 years, eight are between 61 to 70 years and four between 71 to 80 years. 11 out of the 23 people died were male, while 12 were female. 
DGHS informed that six people died in Dhaka Division, seven died in Chhattogram Division, one died in Borishal Division, four died in Selat Division, one died in Rangpur Division, and four died in Maman Singh Division. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll crosses 47,91,000 and over 23 crore 42,40,000 people have been infected globally. Besides, more than 21 crore 10,48,000 people have recovered from the virus so far. Now, international news. At least 116 people died in a fight between rival gangs in Ecuador's jail. It is the worst prison violence in the country's history. At least five inmates were decapitated while others were shot dead. It is considered one of the most dangerous prisons in the country. Police and the prisoners also threw grenades. It took 400 police officers to regain control. Local media report that the uprising was ordered by powerful Mexican drug trafficking gangs that are now operating in Ecuador. Top U.S. defense officials have said the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan can be traced back to a deal between the group and the Trump administration. The so-called Doha Agreement was signed in February 2020 and set a date for the U.S. to withdraw its troops. General Frank McKenzie said the deal had a really pernicious effect on Afghan government and military. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin agreed, saying the agreement had helped the Taliban get stronger. Now, news on sports. South Football Tournament 2021 will begin in Maldives tomorrow. Bangladesh will face Sri Lanka in the opening match of the tournament to be held at Maldives National Football Stadium. The match will begin at 5 o'clock in the afternoon Bangladesh time. Other teams of the tournament are India, Nepal and host Maldives. Pakistan is not playing in the tournament following FIFA ban while Bhutan government did not send team due to corona pandemic. Every team will play four matches in the round robin league tournament. Top two teams will play in the final scheduled to be held on October 16. Bangladesh claims the title of South Championship in 2003. After that, the Red Greens could not reach at any final of the tournament. This year, Bangladesh want to become the champion of South Asian football for the second time through winning the title. Bangladesh Football Federation appointed new coach for the team to pave the way of fulfilling the dream. Coach Jemmy D was replaced by Oscar Bruzen, who made Boshundara Kings champion in Bangladesh Premier League football. And now to end the bulletin, a recap of the top stories. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurates a newly constructed Bangladesh house in Maryland, USA. Prime Minister returns home tomorrow after attending 76th session of UNGA. President Muhammad Abdul Hamid urges global youths to take lessons from the work and ideals of Bongo Bundu and use them for welfare of the people of the respective countries. Elections to be held on time following constitution, whether BNP participates or not, says Obadul Kader. Countrywide mobile court to be conducted from tomorrow to enforce clean feed and cable operators act, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Prison clashes leave 117 killed in Ecuador, more than 80 people injured. South Football Championship set to kick off in Maldives tomorrow. Bangladesh to face Sri Lanka in the opening match. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you indeed for joining us and we request you to follow.